a little later start today. Wasn't expecting that because I woke up at 4.27 a.m. to go to bed at 1 something a.m. And then I was up for like an hour and then I was back out and then woke up at like 8. And I swear to God, like, what is it about sleep deprivation that feels so much worse than like an actual hangover? But anyway, I was out with friends last night and I got back um, probably about just shy of 11. Um, and I definitely did not have enough <laughs> to drink to uh, have a hangover. Um, but uh, I noticed that, uh, you know, when I checked Twitter, for the, so I hadn't done that prior to getting back, there was something from like some consultant in Australia who was like, he's been using my, some conceptual framework that I did like way back in pandemic land. I don't know if it was 2020 or 2021, but um, about this thing uh, that I called the specificity gradient. And that has to do with I mean, it is what it sounds like. It has to do with the uh, the kinds of there's just levels of specific. There's like levels of specificity, and then like this that has a sort of inherent um, uh, uh, durability, you know, some temporality uh, uh, with respect to the kinds of artifacts that get created, like when we're talking about software, usually. Um, with code at the very bottom, because it's the most, actually the most um, ephemeral. It's actually the most disposable, and we don't treat it that way. We treat it like sacrosanct. And all the other stuff, all of the modeling and all of the design work and all of the figuring out and you know of, of the actual process and structures, those all get thrown in the garbage when... Uh, when the code is sort of achieved, you know, those kinds of things are always, the, and, and like, you can get so much more information from those things, but they're so undervalued. And so one of the things that I've been, you know, wanting to uh, get together, set up, is effectively a mechanism, some way to sort of strat, not necessarily stratify, to stratify explicitly, because you don't, in a lot of cases, really know what the durable stuff is going to be, but what you want to be able to do is kind of punch out the stuff that's bad and leave the stuff that's good. And I think that, um, you know, the standard sort of convention of, of using documents, you know, that end up, again, they end up in a drawer. Um, I think it would be, you know, if you move that onto the web and make it like deliberately web-like, you can bust up the pieces and make the pieces smaller and they don't have to just be all these big contiguous documents. And you can always project stuff into documents. You know, there's like, there are ways of turning web pages into books. You know, that's, uh, there's a lot of stuff. I have my own, you know. Um, but if you started with the, you know, the, you know, we're trying to get the essence of like, of like what, the concepts are and what the processes are and you know I had it from going from you know business business goals to user goals to user tasks to system tasks to system behaviors to code and I mean you can do that with content as well you can be like well, what are the audiences and what are, you know and these artifacts, these sort of conceptual entities can sit somewhere and it's like, you can actually turn these conceptual entities into actual web pages. Um, and, uh, you know, they become artifacts at that point. And they, you, you try to do that with, you know, sort of conventional documents and it, it's, it's, you know, it's not computable. You can't turn it into something. So like, um, you know, they just, they're just words on a page. Uh, and it, it's all manual labor if you want to try to change the representation of that. And I think the real value, the real sort of power in representing these kinds of things as, as effectively formal data objects 
is that you can change their representation. So if you need a visualization of it, you can just take what you've got and transform it. And you know, if you need to make some kind of a app or some kind of an interface or some kind of whatever for it, like again, like the skeleton is there, the data is there, and you can you can change it uh, and you can modify, you can change the representation. But if you have to do that every time, um, you have to recreate the data structures every time, like, and then that gets out of sync because somebody changes something or whatever and it's no longer valid. Like, you know, that's where the brittleness is and that's where that kind of stuff becomes prohibitively expensive. But if you keep the data in, in, in a structure, um, then your outcomes are going to be much different. But the funny thing about that is, so this was the specificity gradient is what I called it. And this guy's like, the last month I've been telling my, my consulting clients about my, as in me, specificity gradient. Um, and I just like, I busted out like a 10 minute video about it, not even 10 minutes, like a year or two ago. And then I kind of forgot about it. And so <laughs> I'm like, this guy is, is out there clocking consulting dollars <laughs> using my conceptual framework that I basically forgot about that is like so classic Dorian. Um, but that kind of brings me to something else, which is um, <laughs> this sort of, I was sort of saying like how I, a few days ago, how I kind of envy artists who um, they're just like, whatever, I'm an artist. And like, you either like my shit or you don't. And there's kind of a clarity there. Like what I mean is like they don't have to, they don't have to pretend that they're like, oh, I'm an artist slash strategy consultant. Like, and a lot of them actually do do strategy stuff. You know, they're not just hauled in to, you know, draw a pretty, paint a pretty mural or, or something like that. Um, and so, but the, the interesting thing about them is that they don't have to pretend to be like, oh, I'm a serious business person because the people who hire them know that, you know, they, and, and so there's a sort of subcutaneousness. There's a kind of undercurrent of like, oh yeah, this person's a serious thinker. And like, they, you know, clearly produce you know, like they're still very, they're very technically capable because they make art and you can see it. And, you know, I'm sort of thinking like, you know, to what extent would it be amenable, possible to um, sort of harness that ethos? Because I mean, I wouldn't consider myself an artist and I don't think I do, you know, I mean, I might make art at, at, from time to time but I don't want to, I'm not interested in being like an artist in, in making art as my mass, my like, you know, top line thing, but definitely still cultivating some like artist like characteristics. And I mean, cause I, I find especially the whole, you know, I'm a, I, there's so much rhetoric out there about like, who look at me and I'm serious. Like I'm a serious consultant. Like, you know, you should hire me for your you know, help your bottom line. It's like, you know, like I know that I can definitely help. Uh, you know, there's, I have a sort of idiosyncratic mixture of skills, but, uh, like, to consider me as like, I don't know, like a McKinseyite, like absolutely not. That's not what I do. Um, you know, and there's a sort of, I think there's a sort of tendency, like there's definitely, I've worked on projects where there is like this sort of white shoe tendency where it's like the sort of like white shoe service that's more important than the substantive content. And it's like, I can give you content um, you know, and with the results, you can try to find somebody to give you the hot stone massage. You know, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. So I don't know. I think I'm like, 
leaning toward leaning into the like let's just call it artist adjacent disposition but i am definitely going to go back and <laughs> look at that specificity gradient stuff and uh you know try to actually mine that a bit because that's freaking useful you know i mean if people if other people are using it consulting then i should damn well be able to as well so that's that's cool i'm glad that kind of got unearthed anyway i'm gonna finish my coffee